with lecturers having downed tools for a third day, students' patience is running thin. So we're tired of this one to go back to class. Locked out since last week Thursday. Among those bearing the brunt, 23-year-old Boilermaker student Divine Siakamela. The lectures here are shut down everything. They don't like they don't get into classes. They close the gates. Everything here is closed. Computers, libraries, everything is shut down. Many others share the frustration. We were supposed to write the test this, this week so that we can qualify for the examination. If we don't write the test, we don't qualify for the examination. If we don't qualify for the examination, automatically we have failed. And we, if we fail, they say we don't qualify for the bazaaries. Anger spilled over onto London Road. Police's arrival didn't stop the unfolding chaotic scenes. We've been one week in the shutdown, but nothing was happening. Last year we took something like four months. Nothing was happening. But even now, that's why we came here and closed London. So it is that we can get attention, but no one is coming to us. No one is coming to us to give us direction. Caught in the middle of an ongoing impasse between Nehau and the Department of Higher Education, some of these students say as much as their studies are severely affected, they do support the union's strike. The union snapped a meeting with the higher education minister last Friday. She wanted to set aside an hour to discuss issues that have a history far back from 2015. But also in what is disturbing about that correspondence was that that meeting was subject to the parliamentary program. So we couldn't take it. The department together with the ministry is looking for another uh, space in the minister's diary which would accommodate enough time for the discussions. We hope a resolution will be uh, at, uh, re reached uh, soon. The union insists the shutdown will continue until its demands are met. For now though, students are the victims of the labor dispute.